What's up players and traders? John from Plain Trade Guitars. Please do make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, and share. We are 218 subscribers away from giving away that Gibson Custom Shop Firebird. So please do make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, and share so we can hit that 2000 mark and get it, and get it, and give it away. English fans can correct my pronunciation. This is a vintage Epiphone Wilshire. Soap bar humbuckers. Got the Jetsons floating by. We'll reshoot that. All right, so we've got an Epiphone Wilshire. Excess of knobs in the 60s and 70s, I should say. A three-way pickup selector switch. A beautiful flamed All right, Craigslist haul number six, and this is gonna be vintage edition and probably the most eclectic mix of guitars for Craigslist haul six yet. Um, all vintage, all really cool, nice mix of stuff, so come check it out. Ready to open? Oh, why'd I lock my car? All right, here we go. Craigslist haul number six, vintage edition. And for starters, the first case I bought in with cool stickers on it. Everything from a cool masking tape, this side up arrow, to my favorite, probably this crazy green cat. Paint fumes, good band name, paint fumes. Never heard them, but I do like their sticker. So shout out to paint fumes. Are they defunct? Are they active? I'm not sure, but I like their sticker. Hopefully I have enough clearance in my hatchback here to open this case, because I've got a stack of guitars today, which is always awesome. Dude, everyone's rolling by an electric. Every kid's got... Every kid has too much money here. They all got electric scooters and stuff. Let's see what we're working with on the first guitar. Bubba. Latch. <laughs> all right, guitar number one today. Oh, vintage Epiphone Wilshire. Early 70s, made in Japan. This is the first run of this guitar. It was originally made in America, and then they shipped it production to Japan. This Epiphone has a really cool red flamed finish that I have not seen before. It's got two soap bar humbuckers, each with their own volume and tone knob. Your exhaust is so loud. <laughs> right. Right as the cops roll by. <laughs> this just turned into an automobile feature. I think it looked like I got a cooler cop. You think he's got a hump? Oh? Whoa. I think we have more money worth of guitars in the back though. <laughs> yeah, so. What's up, man? How you, How you doing? doing? Good to see you. This is the first time during a haul that another hatchback has rolled up that not only is cooler than mine, but has come up at perfect timing during the unveiling process of. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 you're good. Yeah, come hang, man. Now we've got an audience. Our first guitar is a vintage early 70s made in Japan Epiphone Wilshire in this really uh, stunning flamed red that I have not seen before. Starting at the headstock up here, nice vintage perloid Epiphone inlay logo. And then from square to rectangle, perloid inlays on a rosewood fretboard. Two soap bar humbuckers with each that have their own tone and volume and a three-way pickup selector. It's a really resonant old piece of wood with a bolt-on neck. So just a really good feeling vintage Epiphone. A lot of ring to the body. It's the first time the weather has been nice enough on Craigslist Hall to actually take it out. I'm not getting rained on, I'm not getting snowed on, and it's not freezing cold, so I can actually see what the thing sounds like out of the trunk here. But this was just a super cool find. And yeah, I dig the stickers on the case. That's the first time we've gotten some personalization on a case. Today we got a stack of them, so we'll move right along. This is really cool, but I'm gonna save that to the end and get on to yet another Fender Strat that I couldn't pass up. This is gonna be an American Standard Strat, 1989. 
Really cool Fender hard shell case. I love the big embossed Fender logo, Fender USA on the case. And a beautiful kind of forest sparkle green. Stunning aging. Look at the yellowing on the tone and volume knobs, the pick guard. This guitar was a one owner guitar. It sat in a closet for 25 years um, and was only played for a few years here and there in between. But I really love this sparkle. It almost looks like a candy apple red, but it's like a candy apple green or something. It's really cool sparkle green finish with a beautiful rosewood fretboard, which you can tell has been taken care of pretty well. Looks like it was recently oiled. And everything just has a good aging on it. Neck looks beautiful. Everything is in incredible shape. It's an E-Series Made in America standard strat. Kind of a forest sparkle green. Classic three single coils. Perfect American made strat. Not a thing wrong with it. And it too, uh, I mean, we'll get it on the bench, but I don't think you need to really do much to it at all. Really resonant piece of wood too. So this is a 1989 standard strap. It's got all the accoutrements here. Look at that. That's some high-tech graphic design in 1989. Leaping off the page at you, the American series by Fender. I love when, the, when people hang on to this stuff. Just so cool. So just another good classic American-made strap. Couldn't pass it up, 1989. And you know I love rosewood fretboards on a strap, so couldn't pass it up. All right, so we're working with Silvertone matched set and plenty of attention to detail. This amazing guitar, I mean, look at the attention to detail in the case. I mean, you give it a seatbelt in the 60s. I don't even think people wore seatbelts in cars in the 60s, but the guitar has a seatbelt. Uh, we'll get to it in a second. It's got its original guitar strap and cable, and then it's got the Silvertone amplifier. Awesome grill. It's got the original tubes in it still, the silver tone tubes. Awesome little 30 watt tube amp that came with the whole package. So uh, give me five minutes while I learn how to unbuckle this guitar seat belt. There it goes. I'll pull the sucker out. It's got a fair amount of finish checking on it for the age, but I always think that's cool. I think natural wear on a guitar tells a story. I'd almost prefer to have some natural wear and show it, that make it look like somebody actually played the thing. So it's just really cool. Gonna need some setup on this one for sure, but I mean, condition-wise, for the age, this is exactly what you want to see on a funky old silver tone. Two non-adjustable, I guess you call them soap bar, Probably, they might be single coils. We'll find out. Looks like this guitar also has a tone and volume for each pickup. And then again, a three-way selector, not unlike the Epiphone that we bought in as well. Another rosewood fretboard, another block perloid inlays. And actually, it's funny, I almost wonder if they're made at the same factory. I know, this was made in America. That's pretty cool, this is American-made silver tone. But it's almost maybe then happy coincidence, funny coincidence that the inlays are the same exact inlay scheme as the uh, inlay structure as the Epiphone in Wilshire. You have square moving to a skinnier rectangle down. <laughs> it's funny, I think, this, uh, I think this one is actually crooked. I think if you look at the alignment of the rectangle, it's actually a little bit crooked, but this was a catalog series, Sears and Roebuck silver tone, bolt-on neck, really cool burst black and red and the same burst carries over to the neck a black over the red see the trim bar here with a wooden kind of floating bridge really cool just funky old silver tone with all the original pieces so you got the whole kit check out the case Got some red uh, plush velvet lining. And Zach, here, you hold that bad boy. Wow, this is heavy. 
Yep, and I got the original strap that came with the set. Really cool. Probably actually real leather. Cool pattern. Oh, wow, there's flat lines on this too. Yeah. Who knows, it's probably the same flat lines when it came from the store. Original guitar cable, which is pretty cool. And then the matching uh, amplifier. 30 watt tube amp, sear silver tone. Model number 1481, so it's a silver tone 1481 tube amp. The original speaker, original everything. I'm assuming it's probably a two prong. Good. So the next time you're holding the microphone, don't don't touch your guitar, you'll get zapped. That's more of an out loud mental note for me. So it will shock you. And we'll recase it because Zach's busy playing it, so. <laughs> no, I'll put it down. Before I do a truss rod adjustment, I'm going to try just raising up this bridge because we're having some string contact with these non-adjustable pickups. But it looks like an easy fix. It does have old flat wands on it. So guitars actually back then were designed for flat wands. So yeah, we'll get it on the bench and set up, but everything today has been a pretty eclectic, funky batch of guitars ranging from the 60s to the 70s to the late 80s. I think we've covered a lot of tonal territory and brand territory. We'll get this one recased. And I can't wait to get these on the bench, cleaned up and played. Let me buckle up this bad boy. Hit us with that outro, Johnny Wills. All right, so today, Craigslist haul number six, we looked at an American-made Silvertone complete set, the whole thing. The amp, the guitar, the guitar strap, the quarter inch cable, the whole deal as you would have bought it in the 60s and brought it home and learned to play your first strum. We also got a early 70s, Epiphone Wilshire, awesome made in Japan guitar. And we got that beautiful forest green Strat, made in America, 1989. One owner guitar purchased in Chicago at a guitar store in 1989. And this many years later, we're picking it up and put it on Playing Trade Guitar. Please subscribe to this channel, Playing Trade Guitars. On behalf of Playing Trade Guitars, I'm John, here with Zach, and a good guest with his much better car than mine, <laughs> Kyle, rolling up today. Uh, thanks for being here. Do uh, drop us a comment. Let, let us know what you think of this haul. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. We're going to get these on the bench and then get a high def demonstration going to each guitar. Thanks for being here. I'm John. See you next time. Here's a 1989 American Made Strat in beautiful metallic Sherwood green that I just bought in and it's already sold. This is the good thing. Sometimes we buy one in that has so much demand that it gets sold before we can make our whole suite of videos. But I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek before it goes to its new owner who's also a subscriber. So shout out and thank you to them. Sherwood green, like Robin Hood. My reflection in that metallic finish. Before we send it off, make sure everything's just fine for you. <laughs> goodness a lot of output from these pickups sounds so like a strat should um my impression of it i wish i was spending more time with it but honestly this guitar is good to go and so somebody jumped on it they said they pulled the trigger because it just it felt right and i know the feeling you can jump on our next guitar check out our reverb store or message us directly if you want to make a deal 
uh, in any of our inventory is for sale. So please do remember to hit the like on this video, subscribe to this channel. We still have the Firebird 2K 2K giveaway going strong. If you're among the first 2,000 subscribers, you have a chance of winning that Custom Shop Gibson Firebird. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to this channel, and drop us a comment. What do you think of this haul? Which one of these would you be rocking? Uh, we'll get more at you soon with an on-the-bench and high-def demonstration coming your way. Uh, playing trade guitars, I'm John. Thanks for watching. Cut to the dubstep. <laughs>